lot of people will spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars for a room addition for their house. What if I could show you a way so you could have a room addition for your van life for three hundred and fifty dollars? Coming right up. in the Hoosier National Fort. Noise you hear? That's the cicadas. The cicadas have hatched every seven years. Pontiac, Montana. Like a lot of people, we fixed our vans up so we can travel in them, so we can stay in them. Bed built on the inside, a lot of storage places. Everything is nice and convenient still, and there's not a lot of room in it. How would you like to have a room addition? That's right, a room addition for $350. Everybody's gonna say, sure, I can go out and buy a tent. But have you ever seen a tent like this that is so easy to put together? This is a gazelle, a gazelle tent, a gazelle four-person tent. And I'm gonna show you how easy this comes apart, how easy this is to put up. When I travel out on the road, I can stay in my van. I've got a captain chair in the back. I can do my work on my computer. It would be nice to have a little extra room. Somewhere where I can bring a little chair, a little tabletop. When I start getting backed up on my videos, I can sit there. I'm big at doing research. I research for hours, figuring out what would be just right. I wanted something that would set up real fast. I wanted something that would set up real easy, take back down real easy. And this is the solution I came up with gazelle tent. This gazelle tent is so nice. It's the best tent I've ever worked with and such an ease to set up and take apart. I wanted to let you know I'm not sponsored by gazelle. This is my own personal investment in LAF Space Film Fest put it inside the Montana. I can haul it on top of the Montana. Let me show you how easy this goes together. Now the one thing I haven't got yet is a footprint for the gazelle. And a footprint is something you lay down on the ground before you actually set your tent up on top of it. If you get a gazelle, you want to go ahead and get one of their footprint or you can custom make one. You just always want to make sure that your footprint isn't larger than the tent. So when it rains, the rain will come down and go off away from the tent. If you just take a regular tarp and lay it down on the ground, the water will come off, hit the tarp, and then run underneath your tent. So make sure if you do customize your own footprint for your tent, and this is any tent, doesn't have to be a gazelle, could be any tent, make sure that it at least is underneath where the rain will come off, hit the ground, and flow away rather than hit the tarp and go up underneath your tent. That's very important. The Gazelle comes with this really nice storage bag. It has handles on it on both sides so you can pick it up. It's got a nice shoulder strap on it if you need to carry it on your shoulder. Very easy to do. Of course you wouldn't backpack with a Gazelle like this unless you had a great big crew and two people were carrying it. It has nice straps. We keep it all nice and compact. Heavy duty zipper system on it. Here it is, your new room edition. Comes with some really nice stakes for you to stake it down. Of course, anytime there's any wind anywhere, you want to be sure and stake it down because the design of it with a big heavy wind would probably just blow it away pretty easy.
Now this is only the second time I've ever set the gazelle up. The first time was actually inside my cabin. I couldn't wait to get it outdoors. I had to set it up and I was amazed how easy it sat up. But what I learned was that it's good to put a couple stakes in it before you start to set it up because it'll want to move a little bit. And so I'm going to put those stakes in right now. Now, check out the magic. Two big doors, one on each side. Set up. Completely set up. Probably what, maybe two minutes? Took two minutes to set it up? That's how easy it is, and it's just as easy to fold it back down. It all pops back in, strap it together, put it back in the bag, you're ready to go. That is the easiest room addition you could ever find. This is a nice tent. Let me open it up for you and I'll give you a tour inside. Now there's one thing I've learned of being in the outdoor business, of not only being a retailer at Quest Outdoors years ago, even the fact that I take the gear out all the time and I actually work with it, the one thing that I have found out is you always want to buy good gear. If it's between buying something that's mm, mediocre right now or maybe waiting a little bit, saving up a few more dollars and buying the good gear, buy the good gear every time because it'll last forever and you'll just be so pleased with the way it's built. And that's why I am so excited about the Gazelle tent. Come on, I'll give you a tour on the inside. First thing you'll notice, it has a ton of ventilation. A ton of windows. Two access doors, one on one side, and one on the other. But the windows are just amazing. So you can imagine setting up a little office in here, having your desk right here, having your table, and you have all this ventilation and all this view all the way around, which is so nice. Plus, on days when heavy dew is not expected and no rain, you have this giant skylight and plus a lot of ventilation. Even on the days when it would get really hot, you could have a little fan running in here. So very nice. Some other features. You have a strap here to hang a lantern on. You have a gear pocket up at the top. You have a giant gear pocket right here to store things in. Just unbelievable the way the gazelle is made. It even has these giant pockets here that you could put stuff in. Unbelievable how strong it is. And if you notice, there's no poles to put together. It all snaps in with these joints right here. Strong as can be. 
It has all these tie downs right here. So if you're gonna be somewhere, you can tie it off all the way around. And it would be super strong. So if you're gonna take it somewhere up like Lake Superior, you would tie your guidelines down from here. Now it comes with a rain fly that you can put on top of it in case you're expecting rain. It actually comes with guidelines too. And some nice stakes, instructions on how to put it together. But you can see it's pretty easy to put together. That roof system is so nice, it just goes up there and just pops right into place. So easy. We have little hooks here that's going to hook right into this joint right here. There you go. And if you notice, the design is flawless. Because the rain will come down, and it's gonna come down, and come right off the side. Come down off the side. We have a little vestibule here, keeping the door section from getting wet. Nice and taut. All the seams are taped. Grommets on the fly that you can tie it down to. So you not only have this, but you could tie the fly there. All your areas here are reinforced. So there you go. There's your $350 room edition. You could sleep a family of six in there if you wanted to. You could set an office up. You can set chairs up in there. Heck, if you're the kind of person that likes to take a TV, it'd be your TV room. It'd be your sunroom, whatever you want it to be. Mosquito room, bug room. So easy to set up. So easy to take what back I down. Wanted. When I pull in someplace, if it's gonna be just for the night, I didn't wanna get a bag out, try to put poles together, try to run them through the sleeves. I've set up hundreds and hundreds of different kind of tents. This one right here is the best tent I've ever owned. It's the best tent I've ever even set up. That is a beautiful machine right there. And that should be part of your collection. The Gazelle. Here's a way to recognize good equipment. Check out the grommet in that. That's made to withstand and hold and be strong. All the double and triple stitching in force panels on all your pressure points. Double stitching. This is where your grommet hooks right in. Really strong mosquito netting. Keep the bugs out. It won't fade. It won't stretch out. Even your windows have storm flaps on them. And I love the way these corners come out right here. If your van is getting a little bit small, especially if you're traveling with two people and you want a little extra room, there you go. Save up your pennies, get your gazelle. Now, the problem with a gazelle is they're hard to get. This is one of the last ones that I found about a month and a half ago. With the big surge of people getting outdoors, I'm sure that's why their inventory has sold out, but in a little while, they should be available again on the market. Try to grab you one. Well, I appreciate you coming to the channel. That's LAF Space Film Fest. That's capital LAF Space Film Fest. I hope you're out there traveling America. I hope things are going well. If you need a little extra room, there you go. Tell them LAF sent you. The Gazelle, you'll love it. Lots of room. You have a good day. As easy as that, Gazelle Tents. Mm. Nice to buy good gear.